Hello everybody, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll be discussing about staff management. First, you need to log in to your owner account. After logging in, you need to go to the menu bar. You can find an option for staff management. You need to click on that. To the bottom right corner of the screen, you can see add button. You need to click on add button. Then the next page will be viewed. On the next page, you need to add staff name, staff mail ID and staff phone number. The email ID you provide will be used by your staff to log in into the account. Below that, you can see two checkboxes. The first option is for adding staff's attendance and salary. Second option is for giving permissions to your staff according to their job roles. Here, we are selecting both the options. Let's see how it works. So, how to set up staff's attendance and salary. Here, we are providing an option for tracking your staff's payroll in terms of monthly, daily and hourly basis. For this video, I am selecting monthly option. First, you can enter the monthly salary, average shift hours and joining date. Below that, we have checkbox for allowing self-attendance. In that, we have two options, single and punch in, punch out. Depending upon your staff's working model, you can select the options accordingly. And in the later part of the video, we'll discuss about how your staff will be able to mark their attendance. This marks an end for the first part of the staff management. Now, let's look into how you can set up staff permissions. As you can see, we are providing four different permissions, admin or partner, manager, help and custom. If you are choosing admin or partner role, this user will get all the permissions same as the owner. In the same way, if you are selecting manager and helper roles, the permissions will be set accordingly. Now we have custom permissions. This option will allow you to customize the staff according to your requirement. You have successfully set up the staff login. By the end, click on save button and you're good. Use the same method to add the staff according to the job role. Finally, let me tell you how your staff can log in into the account. For that, your staff should download the Zobase app on the device. After that, they should use the same email ID which has been assigned by you while adding staff. After the login, your staff will have the access to your business. As said earlier, now let's see how to manage attendance. In this particular staff account, I have already opted punch in and out option. For the staff to mark the attendance, they need to go to the more option, which is to the bottom right corner of the screen. New page will be displayed and you can see the option for attendance. Clicking on that option will let the particular staff to punch in and out. So that's it guys. I hope this video helped you out. Thank you for staying with us. In the next video, we'll be discussing about payroll management.